So about a year ago, I did a digital painting of a hummingbird, just fun, a little speed paint. And I thought since the hummingbirds are kind of on their way out, it would be a good time to do another one. We sort of paint this again, if you will. So I'm not very practiced when it comes to drawing or painting animals, but I do think it's fun to challenge yourself and work on things that you don't normally work on. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. So starting out with a sketch, as always. <laughs> so I'm gonna have little Rufus hummingbird sitting a little bit fluffed up. The last time I did it in the air for more dynamic pose, but I think this time I want to focus on making the feathers a little bit more of a priority, looking kind of soft and fluffed up. <laughs> so yeah, I think maybe this could be a little bit more of an angle. I don't know how legible it is from the mic, but my birds in the other room are going crazy. It's like I live in an avian zoo sometimes. They are very noisy. Who knew such little bubs could make so much noise. I have a couple of references. I actually took some pictures of them this year. Brought my father's really nice Nikon camera and they came out better than I expected. Uh, the camera does all the work for me. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna have this little guy, he was sitting on the post where I hang the feeders, one of the feeders from, and I'm just gonna kind of work on getting his sketch. I always start out with a circle, but his head isn't very circular. I mean, it is, but it's not like a perfect circle. Then he'll have his body shape. Seems like it goes down and then curves in. His little footy will be here and his back is all fluffed out. I think it was a cold morning. It's very cold here, even in the summer. So we'll just work on that shape there. Then he actually has like his tail is all uh, separated out. So I'm just gonna basically put that shape in there. Down here, this actually goes a little bit further. So I'm just going to keep working on the shapes of the sketch until they seem a little bit more faithful towards the reference I'm using. I think I looked it up once and hummingbirds travel all the way from South America up to Alaska. Maybe there's like different routes where they don't actually travel that far, but that is some dedication <laughs> to having some babies. I'm gonna blow this up a little bit. So there's like a wing down here, it looks like. And it comes out like this. I'm a big believer in that this, the uh, painting can change after the sketch. Like you don't have to be super stringent to it. So I don't always spend forever getting the sketch totally perfect. Looks like he has some fanned out little wings here, like a collapsed uh, fan, like an Asian fan. How that collapses in on each other. Maybe not quite the same, but that's what it makes me think of. Yeah, so we have these little stretches of wings here. This little tail is actually gonna be just about here. Yeah, this is looking a little bit more like I want it to. A little bit of a bump in the tail here. They have like a little tiny nub if they're like other birds. They have a little tail nub there. All right, I think that's pretty good for the shape of the bird. There's a bar here, a little shepherd's hook thing that he's sitting on. So I'll go ahead and add that in. So he's not just sitting in the middle of the air. Pretty messy sketch. So his little face is here. I actually want to squish it down a bit. I think it's a little too tall. So I'm just gonna squish, squishy squish. There you go, buddy. That looks a little better. And then we'll have the eye. He's got like a little tiny bit of a lid that's visible. And then his head is, is very fluffy. All right, I think I'm gonna make a little few tweaks and then I'm gonna get started on painting. Let me see here if I can do this with the warp or if I need the liquify. I think I might wop, wop in, <laughs> wop in, pop into the liquify tool. Just kind of the lazy man's way of fixing things. All right, I think that's a good enough sketch. Time to move on to coloring. I'm gonna start out, this particular hummingbird is sort of an orange, red, brown color. So I think it'd be nice if the background was really blue, like the sky. So that's probably a good blue. Maybe just a touch darker. Then I'm gonna make a color layer and I'm gonna block in some colors. And to start, I do want some texture later, but I think to start, I'm just gonna go with the normal soft round brush. Yeah, we'll have it at 100% opacity and maybe 18% hardness. Yeah, and we're just gonna start uh, blocking in some colors. So the main color, I'm gonna pick neutral orange and probably just fill the whole thing in just so I can just see the shape just in color form. <laughs> Okay, I think I might end up working this down a bit and this out a bit. 
just from seeing the uh, sort of silhouette of it. And I'm going to put a shepherd's hook. So I suppose shepherd? Probably not. <laughs> put a shepherd's hook layer just so I have that down and out of the way. I don't want it to be that dark. It's going to be catching quite a bit of sun. So I'll just pop it in like this under the little rufus just to have something underneath our little guy and then we can see these color areas better. All right, let's turn down the sketch a bit. I'm gonna make a clipping mask, but I don't know if I will always work on it because there's a lot of little feather fluffs later that I might add. But for now, to make it a little bit easier to block these colors in, I want to get the next bit in to be this brown color. Nice saturated brown color. Sits so right under here and then lots of little fine feathers in this area. So I'm just gonna plop them in a bit like this. They seem to go out to the cheek area. A little bit under the eye. I might need to come down a little bit. And it kind of bleeds over in the reference to the wing area. So I'll just splotch some of this in. There's a little bit of a rounded shape here. I don't want it to overcome all of it. Yeah, something like that. And I just put these in so, like so. And then there's just a touch in the tail. And they're actually pretty much getting overridden, overridden by the purple so I'll just put it in like that kind of work it in by the purple <laughs> there's no purple all right and then there's some whitish color that we'll just put in sort of under here and it's sort of in a like a triangular shape and then it goes down like this so get that fluffed out and then it kind of rides the belly a little bit let's turn our opacity down so that it rides the belly but not at full strength like that and then we can overshadow it a bit like that Okay, uh, we want a little bit of that brown up here. I guess I'll just keep my opacity down for now. There we go. I'm going to go back to this bottom layer and I'm going to put in a dark black-ish for the beak. Uh, let's turn our opacity back up. That's a weird glitch. Does that to me sometimes. There we go. Okay, and then we'll come back to this top layer, finish it off. There we go. Okay, so we got that. I'm going to merge those. Make a new clipping mask. I'll work on varying these blocks of colors. So for this one, there's a darker spot. Let's turn our opacity down to like 26. Even darker than that, I think. Darkest part of the little bub. And we're just gonna put it in like this. I have no idea how I'm gonna do these little textured things. I might just do them a little bit like this. <laughs> I could do them with like a uniform brush, but I never think that looks as good. So maybe I do this. We'll just see how this works. All right, they're actually a lot smaller than that, but for a general idea, I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, this part over here is a little bit in shadow, so let's get a block of that going down here. It looks like a little bit like a more wispy feather, so I'm just gonna keep a little bit more of a straight texture there, like so. Blend this in a little bit more down here. Over here is actually very red. Let's pick up a nice red-ish color, reddish-orange. Uh, I want something a little more saturated. Let's go into the danger zone <laughs> to get this color. There we go. And then I'm just gonna start blocking this in. There's a couple places that this shows up on the burtle, so I'll work on getting some of these just painted into the general areas. Yeah, there we go. Little burtle. Some of that fabulous red. He's got to attract all the little ladies with his beautiful feathers. He's like, hey ladies, check this out. I got all the vibrant colors. <laughs> I wonder how they get such vibrant feathers. Like fish, they get really vibrant colors <laughs> in their scales and stuff. And then their feathers for birds. Interesting. As far as I know, they only drink sugar water, right? Maybe they eat some bugs. They're, who knows, something they've been eating or drinking must have been giving them some vibrancy. All right. I'm gonna put his little foot in. I'm gonna merge these and put his little foot in. Before I forget it, it's just this little toesy right here. Let's turn my opacity up. Yeah, he just got a little toesy right here. It sits under most of the feathers and you can kind of see another one right under it. Like that. Little tiny, tiny foot. Okay. And I'll go back to the clipping mask, bring my opacity back down, and I'll blend some feathers over that little foot. It actually has like quite a little bit of a feather marking there. All right, we've got our dark reds. Now let's get some bright, vibrant yellows, and we might go in later with uh, some blending brush options to really get these to pop, but for now I want to kind of just mark them in where they are. So there's a few here, a little bit under his eyeball, 
few catching in the sun. These radiant little birdo colors. There's like a cheek area here where he's got quite a few. And uh, I kind of missed some reds. Let's get the more vibrant red and patch this in. A little bit of red here and then the corners of his eye here. Get those marked in. Go back to the yellow. He's uh, this Rufus type of hummingbird. It's real cute. But it is definitely the meanest. There's some like green ones and they have like a white belly and a ruby ruby feathers on their chin <laughs> and they're 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 little nice bubs i mean you'll see the four of those green ones at once sharing a feeder but these rufuses are campers <laughs> they camp out on the feeders and they don't let anyone no other birds come up and drink from them or nothing jerks <laughs> little baby jerks okay so let's get these wings a little bit more detailed in i sort of missed the mark on these i should have put the red in here i'm gonna use the yellow i'll go back over with red in a bit uh, i guess i'll merge these because i want this to come down like that put a few more little streaky bits in here let's make that brush a little smaller where the uh wings are yeah we'll have to clean this mess up a bit <laughs> but for now i want to get this in there's some really vibrant yellow marks here they're almost like green yeah put those in in fact let's get a nice little bit of green can't hurt to have a little splash of an extra color. Just like the fish, they have some strange rainbow iridescent colors. Okay, maybe even add a few little green dots, just really unnoticeable, but there. Give it a little bit more color variety. Okay, now I'm gonna take some of these less, a uh, little bit less vibrant yellows, kind of work in some patchy colors there, up by the back of the head here. And we're gonna have to eventually go in and do the same thing we did down there. Make some, some little feather poppies popping areas here. That's a bad <laughs> messed up area. Let's get some red in here while we do this. Go back to the yellow. Maybe not the uniform shape. I might come back and touch that up. Let's get this dark in here and we can sort of go over some of these that didn't work out and keep going over them until they look more like the shape I want. So just sort of wipe them out for now and then come back in, redetail them. No biggie. Let's add a nice red color here like the light is hitting it. It's a nice peach maybe. Get that established here like there's a little bit of light coming in here, shining off the things. A little bit back here, a little bit over here in the back area here. And then let's get some of this orange that I kind of messed up and didn't get in the wings in the first place can't really read this wing area perfectly <laughs> so I might take some liberties here and probably mess it up but sorry little buddy I'm gonna probably not stay too faithful to your wings I don't know what it is it's like hard for me to see exactly I'm sure people have gone through this when you're trying to reference an image and you kind of can't really figure out <laughs> what it's supposed to look like I get that a lot I just have to keep working on it and practicing it eventually you'll kind of figure out how to place what you're seeing there's some splashes of color here that have gotten eaten out by the others. Pop them back in there. You can even give them some texture. All right, let's do the eyeball. And then I'm going to kind of get rid of the sketch. Maybe I'll do the shepherd's hook a little bit more. But the eyeball is just going to be in here. Let's get this shape right. And there's a little bit of a lid. Yeah, actually, let's just uh, turn the sketch way down now. See this a little better a little bit of a lid to this eyeball here i'm on the sketch i was like why isn't any pigment coming out uh, i do that all the time okay a little tiny bit of a lid here and uh down here sort of get that shape then we're gonna get some light right on the edge of the ball here and a little dot here little guy getting some light there tiny bit of light i'm gonna use this yellow to cheat it on the lid up there and a little bit down here in like the tear duct area all right there we go and then i'm gonna get rid of the sketch i think that the sketch is holding us back at this point let's actually take a look at it the other way <laughs> i think the poor guy's got a little bit of a little bit of a squished in face here i think the eye and everything is okay we just need to work on building this out a bit. So I'm gonna turn this back up and kind of work on building that out just a touch up here. Yeah, maybe even a little bit more. Yeah, that looks like a better shape. Okay, let's get a darker, darker color here. Get that mixed in. In fact, we'll have the whole belly be a little bit darker there. Let's go to color dodge. Add a few little highlights. Uh, maybe not at 24%. <laughs> and we'll turn our hardness all the way down. And I wanna go in really make some of these highlights pop on the little birdo. So just sketch a few in here. I think we're almost done. This would probably be a good time to just sort of finish the rest up in a bit of a speed paint. 
So yeah, I think the little burrow is good. I'm gonna finish up the details, just gonna speed through them, speed paint them, and I'll meet you on the other side of that. So here we go. All right, so there is my final version. Let me know what you think. This is last year's, this is this year's. I tried to be a little bit more considerate, I guess, <laughs> with, with detailing it. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you like hummingbirds. <laughs> Just come say hi. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.